Well. <laughs> Mr. President? Yes. A bittersweet occasion. But yes, it is. Two motions. You know, yeah. sir, of course. Uh, bless your heart. You're my president. <laughs> you are. Our daughter. Hello, I'm Christine. Christine. Nice to see you. We met five years ago. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you again. Well, Mr. He, President, he's the one that runs the farm and that caught you in the hall one day. And <laughs> I invite you to the farm and I invite you once again today. If you want to see the Western agriculture, stop by. We'd love to host you. And thank you very much. Uh, I don't have an awful lot to say about it where I go and what I do. And they tell me the night before what I'm going to be doing. I know, I know what that's like from my dad's schedule I've seen. Yeah. Just the whole day is mapped out. Yeah, it is. I'd like for you to meet some others. Uh, this is Hans's fiance. And this is uh, Roseanne Stockman. She's Hans's fiance. This is Joyce Hamilton. She has been uh, uh, living with us the last three years. And uh, you may recall when uh, the family went on the food stamp program. I did that about three years ago and caught a little flack for doing it. But it was Sue and me and Christine and Joyce that was the family of four that was on this food stamp program. <laughs> and uh, and uh, my mother-in-law, yeah. Mrs. Yeah. Ratchie, Margaret Ratchie, nice see you. And uh, Linda and Bill Barnes. Come on, don't, nice you don't hang back so much. Oh, yeah. Mr. President, my pleasure to see you again. My brother-in-law, Louis Ratch, Mr. President, Well, why don't you and oh, why don't you in Okay, right here. Thank you, sir. that you were leaving, I assumed that you decided to go on to bigger things like doing a tour of the Poconos with your Willie Nelson routine. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I was saddened when you told me that you were leaving government service. You've done a remarkable job as Secretary of Agriculture and we're all going to miss you. And I, I think that you'll be able to, I think you were Thanks to you, I was able to sign a farm bill that will begin to move American agriculture closer to the free market. <coughs> it's the start of, I think, toward an emancipation of the farmer from 50 years of failed government policies. And you did this while the agriculture community was going through very troubled and difficult times. And now, I... Well, it would have been easier for you to walk away, leave the job to somebody else, but you never been one to take the easy way out, whether it was your service to the country at West Point or uh, here in your own career as a successful farmer. You've shown dedication, character, and the moral fiber that I think is in keeping with the pioneer tradition of our, of our country. I owe you a debt of gratitude, and so does this administration. But more importantly, the American farmers owe you the same kind of a debt for your tireless commitment to their well-being. And I know that Sue and your family are going to be happy to have you back, even though, as you said yourself, it's a bittersweet moment. Uh, this kind of time for mixed emotions. So God bless you, and 
you have our good wishes wherever you may be. Thank you, Mr. President. souvenir so we won't forget it. Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, Mr. President, ladies and gentlemen, uh, friends of mine, I was asked uh, in the last two days uh, what I'm going to miss most about uh, being Secretary of Agriculture. Uh, the building, the job, uh, the prestige, and I said, and uh, I believe this sincerely, what I'm going to miss most are my friends, Mr. President, the good people that I work with in government and outside of government, and the people of the country, working with you, working with uh, a cabinet team that I have to believe is second to none. And as we uh, held a cabinet session just this morning, the President said some uh, good words on my departure at that time, and I just said at that time, uh, we have a great team here, this administration, and I've been proud to be a part of this great team. We've done a lot of things in the last five years. Uh, some uh, I think we've got great acclaim for, and the people have been uh, proud of our actions, and uh, sometimes those, some are proud and others are critical, and I remember quite well uh, taking my family on the food stamp program for a week. And uh, I had Sue and uh, Christine and uh, Joyce Hamilton living with us then, and we spent a week on that program. And then after it was over, we proclaimed that we'd had plenty of food and hadn't lost a pound of weight. And they really got after us for saying that. <laughs> but it was true. And, uh, and then I guess we can look back to the days when we decided that ketchup was a vegetable and we hit the press on that one. <laughs> it's not the best vegetable, but it could be a vegetable. <laughs> and uh, a whole host of other uh, exciting events. I've spent many occasions in this room, uh, as you know, Mr. President, hammering out difficult issues before the Economic Policy Council. and. Uh, some of the ones that are the most frustrating are those that uh, deal with uh, the, uh, the strength of the dollar and the unemployment, which had an impact on our exports and so on and so forth. And I remember uh, telling uh, the, uh, in a lighter moment, uh, we need light moments occasionally, the Economic Policy Council, that I had been in here listening to different, uh, you have the cabinet at the table, then the economists, some in the back, and they get up and they give you these projections usually conflicting from week to week. They rarely are <laughs> consistent. And I went back to my farm, and after we put the sows and pigs away in the hog barn, we went out to the shop to have a cup of coffee with my hired hands. And what were they talking about? The unemployment, the strength of the dollar, our exports, <laughs> our economy, giving me different advice on how to manage this. And as I climbed on that airplane, heading back to Washington, D.C., I, a thought crossed my mind that it might be a good idea to take those economists out of that cabinet council room and put my hired men in there. <laughs> Get some real practical solutions to the problems of the day. But I didn't pursue that because I knew that those economists would not be able to run my farm. <laughs> Mr. President, <laughs> thank you for everything. Thank you. Dick, thank you, and you've, you've tempted me beyond my strength. <laughs> I have to respond with a little anecdote. <laughs> it has to do with the distinguished gentleman who is now head of the Mormon Church, but who was once Secretary Benson, Secretary of Agriculture. And at a time of trouble for farmers, he was out traveling around and meeting with groups of them, and in one group there was one gentleman that was giving him a very bad time, just complaining about everything, and Benson stepped back to one of his aides and looked at some figures that he had there and came back up, and when there was a pause, he said, well now, just a minute, you didn't have it all that bad. He said, you had 29 inches of rain last year, and the fellow said, I remember the night it happened. <laughs> Carry on, and I'm going to have to go back to work before I try to forget that I've already had lunch. <laughs> well, 
Best wishes, Mr. President. And the same to you. You know I'll be there to help you in the private sector as I have working for you in the cabinet. Thank you. I know that. Thank you. but Don Regan tells me I can't. <laughs> <laughs>